as an alloy announcement. The original 201 cylinder as seen here in the image which is a brass body, uh, which I think is milled, and then they've got the stainless steel fate, uh, plate over the front, crimped on. They're going to dump all that, and they're going to go for the solid body, um, which is very similar to the video I did the other day when we looked over the different cylinders, and we're looking at full body cylinders compared to these other ones here. And yeah, the full body cylinders are heavier, beefier, chunkier, more material being used, so of course they are more solid. And as a locksmith drilling through, I know they can be a lot more difficult when uh, removing that cylinder from the front when it's uh, screwed in, when you're using a solid compared to this one here, the extruded one, which is, you know, been the standard for many, many years. Here's something that um, I found interesting, okay? Furthermore, the more convenient on-site rekeying, the pin sealing strip will be removable. So you know that strip on top of the cylinder that no locksmith ever sort of pulls out? You can, but then it's a pain, you've got to stipple it back in. Now they're going to make it removable, so you can just rock up to site. If you've got no key, rather than shim it, rather than pick it, you just pull out that bit of brass, flip them over like an Avis padlock, and re -cam. So I don't know how good that's going to be. I mean, that strip has always been on the top of these cylinders, but I don't think really anybody knowledgeable ever sort of pulls it apart and rekeys that way leave it down in the description if you've ever rekeyed a lock uh, or if you rekey locks pulling that top strip apart i think that might be something new that um they're trying to bring in because i i know it's certainly not the norm but um they're saying for more convenient on-site rekeying the pin sealing strip will be removable okay well is it now is that what it was there for i don't know i've never done that never been taught to do that never seen that done is always just to plug up the top of the cylinder in a cheap and nasty fashion. And once you pull it out, I mean, I have popped it open once or twice uh, on certain cylinders I couldn't get open, or I couldn't shim, or for some reason. But um, it's never been the go-to way. Anyway, uh, these will be in five and six pin variants, which is very standard for Lockwood. Uh, the next thing about it is you can see the laser engraving on the front. So by all means, I guarantee you they're going to have those small pins in there and stronger driving pins and probably longer top pins. So they're going to have that new and improved um, Lockwood cylinder security. I asked them what uh, the story was that, what, what was, you know, the go with that, and they said basically they saw their their locks on a current affair being bumped open too easily, so they've moved up to those um, spool pins that we've seen over the last few years. So anything now out of Lockwood's going to definitely have that. Anyway, leave your comments down below. Do you pull the cap off the top to rekey? Leave it down in the description. Thanks for watching. Not description, the comments. Thanks for watching.